Hi guys, in today's lesson we're going to be looking at how the work of other designers can influence our own design ideas on the NEA and how to make sure that we can receive the higher marks in this section by referencing appropriately their work to help inform some of our ideas. Uh, I'm going to take you through the suggested designers uh, from the AQA uh, mark scheme and then I'm going to show you how to do a few initial idea sketches based on looking at some examples of their work to help inspire uh, the shape and form of some of your own ideas. Cheers. Okay, so take a look at our level ladder here. What we're looking for is that you've identified different design possibilities through thorough exploration. It also says, as you can see appearing down here on the left hand side, that you've got a comprehensive investigation into the work of other designers that clearly informs your work. Now, that's taken from the AQA mark scheme. So that's something that is being looked for if you are to achieve the highest level of the mark band. We wanna make sure that we do this in a way that shows that it is something that genuinely inspires our work and we're not just looking directly at the designer's work and copying it. So here's the list of designers that are recommended uh, by AQA for us to look at. I won't read through all of them, but what you'll see is that you can choose a different specialism in design technology. So some of these are fashion designers, some are textile designers, um, and then there are others that are architects, graphic designers, and automotive designers. So when you look through the list, have a look online to search for some of these designers, see who inspires you, and then we're gonna choose two of those designers and start producing our work. Okay, so here's an example of the way you could potentially lay out this page. It's very important to not use any kind of template or pro forma, because this work is all has to be your own. But you can see here, I've designed a layout where I've got a grid with the work of the designer, my sketch, and then a space for me to write a description of the design process that I went through when producing the idea. At this stage, I'd like you to look at those designers online and pause the video so that you can then find a range of images by two of those designers that you're ready uh, to work from for your initial idea sketches. Okay, so I've gone for Gerrit Rietveld and Ottore Sotsas. I'm really interested in both the De Steel and Memphis design movements, and I think that they will take me out of my comfort zone in terms of my designing style, as they're quite abstract compared to some of the ideas I might come up with on my own. So I've placed my images in there for inspiration, and I'm now gonna start sketching some ideas, taking inspiration from them without being too derivative of the style. I'm actually using Procreate here on an iPad to sketch these in as it helps me capture the image better. So if you have that app, then fantastic. Otherwise, obviously this could be recreated uh, in pencil and pen on paper. I've used a, a yellow pen here to do my rough sketching so it's clear on the drawing, but obviously that would be pencil. And then I'm gonna work over the top in a fine liner, adding annotations as and when I think of them. The product I've chosen to design for here is a tablet and headphone stand. Um, I was working in a room using headphones and a tablet, so I thought it seemed like an obvious choice. But you obviously would do these sketches based around whatever your client has stipulated that you should be creating for them. So here's my finished page in slightly better resolution. You can see that I've come up with a range of different ideas and as I was going along, I did find myself feeling a bit stuck, but as I use the inspiration of the designers, I do really think this has given me a broader range of initial forms and shapes and ideas to work with than I would have had done if I hadn't looked at these designers' work beforehand. Now I just need to go onto the computer and write my uh, analysis in the boxes that I've planned and then I'll be finished. So that task should have taken you about an hour and a half in total. Um, it's a really important thing to add into your NEA to make sure that it shows that you've looked at the work of other designers, but also questions can come up on those designers in the exam. So to have a look at them in more detail uh, and just have some rough idea of the type of work they worked in and some examples of their work and the design movement that they were associated with will help you as a revision task as well. Uh, I hope that's been useful. There are some other links to some NEA support videos appearing at the bottom now, so um, feel free to watch those if that can help support you at home with your learning. Cheers.